Now, before the Kochi IPL team controversy that took place in 2009, not many people knew Sunanda Pushkar. And when people got to know her, they heard that she was a businesswoman from Dubai and was romantically linked with Union Minister Shashi Tharoor. And then they got married. But there was more to Sunanda Pushkar than that. Here's a glimpse at her life. Sunanda had a mind and a will of her own. As if in proof of this, she dropped her family name and used her father's first name as her own surname. Born Sunanda Das, she became Sunanda Pushkar. Her family was from Boma in Sopor, Kashmir and owned land there and traditionally sent their men to the army. Those who knew her say she was bold and forthcoming in her views and often spoke her mind. I'd known her for about 20 years and she had a full zest for life. She was very, very uh, uh, gregarious, very generous, a perfect host, a perfect guest. And you know, <clears throat> she was a regular, fun-loving human being. Sunanda and her family migrated to Jammu after the outbreak of militancy in Kashmir. They had to leave behind their land, orchards and an ancestral house. Before Shashi Tharoor, Sunanda had married twice. First to a fellow Kashmiri, Sanjay Raina, that ended in divorce and then to a Kerala businessman, Sujit Menon, who died in an accident in New Delhi. She had a son, Shiv, with Sujit. In 1988, before her second marriage, Sunanda had shifted to Dubai. She opened and ran a successful event management company there, but around the time her husband Sujit died, the couple had run into financial trouble. As a widow, she struggled to repay debts run up by her and her late husband. By the late 1990s, Sunanda migrated to Canada, where she first found financial stability and then went on to become rich during the dot-com boom. Sunanda moved back to Dubai in 2004 after the post-9-11 economic slowdown hit her business ventures in Canada. In Dubai, she worked with a big real estate company and again made a success out of this venture. A few years later, while she was still based out of Dubai, she met Shashi Tharoor. Dating, romance and marriage followed. But it all ended in a pall of gloom when Sunanda was discovered dead in her hotel room on the 17th of January 2014 by none other than Shashi Tharoor himself. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.